I'm Unifam and welcome to a brand new video. I'm actually unboxing a new release from Diamond Art Club. I know, I know it's very rare <laughs> that I get it on new releases, but this one is so cute that I just couldn't not have it. So we are unboxing today Flower Market Girl by Hannah Lynn. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys this beautiful canvas. But before I do, I just wanna say thank you to each and every person who is returning to my channel. And if you're new, be sure that you hit the subscribe button and uh, stick around because there's lots of fun to be had here. So let's jump into it. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Hannah Lynn is an artist that has this very unique style of these big, bright-eyed girls, and it's just really, really fun to work on. Um, it has a little bit of a mix of both color blocking and, you know, confetti and different colors um, because these girls, when you get to the part that's their face, their face is all color blocking and it goes by really fast. Um, I've only done one Hannah Lynn before. I'll see if I have a finished picture to show you guys, but it's the Dahlia painting. And this is one that um, they even sell in store at places like Hobby Lobby. But I really like Hannah Lynn and I very much enjoyed working on that painting. It actually has a really special place in my heart because I was working on that painting during a difficult time for me and my family and it kind of got me through the day. And I used that painting to teach some family members how to diamond paint, which was really, really cool as well. So I have a special place in my heart for Hannah Lynn paintings because of that painting that I did work on. So let's get right into it. This is called Flower Market Girl. This is a brand new release from Diamond Art Club and it is a limited edition, which means it's not gonna be around forever on the Diamond Art Club website. So if you like this and you like what you see today, be sure to grab one before they're gone because you will be sad. And uh, yeah, it's a really awesome, awesome painting. It's not too big, I would say. It's a pretty good size painting. It's not like too small, but it's not like absolutely massive, you know what I'm saying? So inside the box, you'll see a couple of things. We see our canvas. We have this smaller sticker. This is a round canvas and the size is 20 by 28 inches and 51 centimeters by 71 centimeters. So it's like, it's a mid-range kind of painting, but yeah. And we get a new toolkit. So I'm gonna open this for the sake of seeing what cover minder and washi tape I got. But inside the toolkit is all your basic regular stuff that you guys know about, all of your tools that you need to either get started diamond painting or continue painting. We got a pen, we got baggies, we got a tray, and we got a little squishy thingy, and we got wax. This is the fun part, to see which washi tape and cover minder you get inside because it's always different. So I got this heart. It has this big, like, chunky, I don't even know how to describe it. It kind of looks like fool, fool's gold. You guys know what that is? And then I got this washi tape that's pretty golden florals. So I love this. I love that they're including cover minders and washi tape now. I absolutely love it. I love it. And then everything else is just your basic tool kit stuff. The tray that you get with Diamond Art Club is really nice as well. It's quite large, it's sturdy, and it even has a stopper included with it. However, if you really want to upgrade and get like the best stuff for diamond painting, shop Muna Made and check out our large and small diamond painting trays. Both sizes are much larger than what you get in the toolkit. And uh, they're a lot of fun and we have lids and stoppers that come with them and you can even get them customized with your name on the side, which is very fun. So check out MunaMade.com if you are in the market for diamond painting supplies. There will be information at the top of the page about when we do restocks. We also sell trash cans, mini trash. <laughs> we also sell mini trash cans in any color you want. They have a cute little diamond on top and you can use these to store your trash or leftover drills as well as old washi tape that you peel off. And I even put my dried up wax in there when I take it out of my pen, so. And last but not least, we just recently started getting into cover binders. So this, these are really nice that you get in the Diamond Art Club kits, but if you want special ones, we sell those as well and I hand make all of them myself. 
Okay, toolkit aside, y'all already know what's in there. You've seen a million toolkits, so I'm not gonna go over each and everything in there. We need to get to the good part. Let's check out the canvas and the drills. This is my favorite part, like the reveal. And a lot of times the artwork is just even more breathtaking in person than you could have imagined. So here's the bottom. Ooh, and her hair in the picture, it looks quite gray, but it's coming off very purple, at least at the bottom here. Ooh, ooh this is so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. You guys know I love anything with flowers in it. So this is like my jam. Okay, like I thought, here is our sticker label sheet on the inside and instructions in case you've never diamond painted before they got you. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. I love it. So like I said, um, good thing, the labels are on the inside. So you get this really nice label sheet. All of them are pre-cut so you're ready to go and slap those labels on whatever storage containers you use. Here is all the symbols in this painting. It looks like we have one, two, three, four four colors that are AB special extra sparkly drills. Um, so I'm really excited for that. There's a place for certain end date if you like to keep track of that sort of thing. And it gives you the information like the name and the artist and the size. Again, this is round and 51 by 71 centimeters. There are 60 whole colors in this painting, which is quite a lot for a painting of this size, but it's because there's a lot of different florals in it and things like that. See, I'm really surprised because if you look at the picture here, her hair just straight up looks gray, right? But the shading of the gray, it comes off purple. And so there's some purple parts in your hair, which I think is so pretty. I'm so excited. All right, so we're gonna put this sticker sheet aside. And um, before we get into really looking at the canvas, we're gonna check out the drills. All nicely packaged inside of here. Here. I can never get them back the same. Um, and I'm not gonna show you every single color, but we're just gonna kind of take a look at what we got here and our color variety, pretty much just like a nice rainbow. This painting has a really nice variety of colors in it. So it's not like, it's not just like a bunch of brown or anything like that. We just got like every color of the rainbow almost. But what I'm super interested in is finding out what the AB colors are. Oh, goodness gracious. Look how many 310s we have. That's another thing about Hannah Lynn's is she uses black line art to make her art pop. So a lot of 310s, which is black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 310. So a large Muna made tray will come in super handy with that. Okay, so I'm going to peruse through and I'm going to find what color drills our ABs, our special ones are, and then we'll take a look where those are at in the canvas. Before we do that, one thing I'm gonna do is roll the canvas in the opposite direction that it came. What this does is help it helps it lay a little bit more flat, and because this is a high quality poured glue canvas, we can do that without fear of like making weird ripples and dents in the glue. So this is just gonna help it lay a little bit more flat so we can check it out. Ooh, she's so cute. I love this. This is bringing me so much joy right now. So I found the AB colors. There are four, like I said. The smallest of those is going to be number 114. It's a red. There's a lot of stragglers in here, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, the next color kind of like blood into it, but yeah, there's a red. And then we also have a really pretty purple, 119. I love the pretty purple, but these are called Aurora Borealis. I don't know who named them that. It's just because they have this like iridescent coating on the top of it, which just makes them pop out and shine. So it's really fun to check out where those go in the painting because it kind of tells you like what's gonna be highlighted and what's gonna stand out in your painting as you're working on it and as it's done. This is a really pretty mint green color, number 122. So pretty, I love that one. And then this one's like a little bit more muted, but I'm thinking this might show up in some of the plants. Uh, number 100, and it's like a nice muted green color. Or maybe in the window behind her. We're gonna find out for sure, for sure diddly doodle, we are going to find out where those AVs go. And before we do, let's take a look at the canvas. Um, so here she is. It's kind of like a vertical portrait 
of a girl that is in her greenhouse. She is holding a bucket with a bunch of flowers inside of it, presumably that she has just picked out of her greenhouse. And it's really cute. She's wearing this really adorable red bandana. And there's even some like holly or something hanging from above her. And she's standing in front of this cute window that light is coming through. And then if you go towards the bottom of the painting, her hair is done up in this beautiful braid. And what's interesting is her hair is kind of gray, but it has these purple highlights to it, which I think is gonna be really, really fun to work on. Um, then she has a matching glove that matches her little head bandana. And then all the way at the bottom, you can see she's wearing a cute apron. And then you can see some of her tools, like her scissors and her garden hoe and things like that. Um, and then I like how it's kind of mirrored. The plant that's in the top left corner is also in the bottom right. And this is so pretty. And did I mention her eyes? She's got, <laughs> she's got big bug eyes. That's just like in the art style of Hannah Lynn. And her eyes are this mix of green and blue. And she's got like rosy cheeks and it's just really cute. I really, really love the look of Hannah Lynn art a lot. Um, I just think it's very, very cutesy and I enjoy it. And what's more, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this a couple times before, but I really like flowers in diamond paintings because I just think they're really fun to work on. Plus I like the look of them. So this kind of combines the best of both world cute and flowers. It has my name all over it. <laughs> so I love this. I hope it's not already sold out by the time you're seeing it so that you guys can get the chance to grab it if you want it. Cause I think it is one of those that's like one limited run and then once it sells out, it's done. <laughs> so hopefully it's still in stock so you guys can still grab this if you haven't already. If not, I'm very sorry. Um, <laughs> hopefully it is. So let's check out where the ABs are located within this painting. So ABs are gonna be the ones at the top of your um, symbol chart. So numbers 100, 114, 119, 122, they're all going to be numbers that are under 150. So that is how you know that it, it is an AB. Okay, first one, number 100. It is the number one symbol. And I'm seeing this show up in the windows. So I think they're trying to portray, there's a fly flying back and forth. Excuse me, I am trying to unbox a diamond painting. <laughs> um, so yeah, kind of like I thought, this muted green color is going to show up like in the windows back here. Um, so it's going to show up. I think they're trying to portray that there's light coming through these windows behind her. Um, so that's why we're a lot of times we use the AB drills to highlight light shading and make it look like, you know, light is coming through. So it's going to be kind of this like glow behind her. There's lots of number ones all in these windows behind her, just kind of highlighting the glow. I'm not seeing any Okay, I'll take that back. I'm seeing a little bit of these in some of the plants, but not that many. And actually, yeah, like literally just barely, I'm only seeing a couple here and here, which is kind of interesting, just highlighting the very tips of the plants. So very interesting. Um, so that's that one. Then 114 is the red. I'm gonna take a guess that this is going to be maybe like in, oh, I was gonna say her bandana, but it's not, it's not in her bandana. It's actually in this beautiful flower right here that she's holding right in the center of things. So right here, this like fiery colored flower, we have just a little bit of the number two symbol, number 114. We have that in here, just highlighting this beautiful flower and drawing your attention and your eye to it. I don't know what kind of flower that is. This definitely looks like an orchid but I don't know what this is. And you know what I've noticed? Sometimes when I'm standing here with my face all up in it, I can't tell what something is. And then when I'm editing and unboxing later and I have like a more like far away view of the painting, it just makes more sense in my brain. But when I'm when my head's all up close, I can't really tell what something is. I guess I could look in the picture. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. It's just a very strange looking plant. <laughs> with a lot of colors in it. So I don't know what kind of flower or plant that is. But yeah, that goes in there. Then our number three, this purple AB, number 119. This is going to show up 
pretty much in all the purple places. So in the orchid, in this hyacinth type flower here, um, a little bit, and even in her hair. So towards the bottom where we do have that purple highlight, there we're going to have some of the um, purple ABs up in there too. So yeah, and even at the bottom down there, there's some. So that's exciting. And then our last one, number four, symbol number four, it's this like mint green color. We are going to see that. Um, ooh, I'm seeing some in her eyes. We're gonna make her eyes twinkle. I'm all on board for that. We're gonna make her eyes stand out. And then where is there more? There's more, there's more of these. So there's gotta be more somewhere. That's literally the only place that I'm seeing it. I could be missing something. Obviously I can't check out every single symbol on this whole diamond painting. That would take a minute, but the only place that I'm seeing it is in her eyes, which is weird because we have like more of them than we do these red ones. And I kind of feel like there's more red ones. So more like symbols on there for the red ones. So there must be another place that those are that I'm just not seeing. That's entirely possible, but for the most part, I can tell that it highlights her eyes. Okay, so that is that you guys. That is this beautiful new release that is artwork by Hannah Lynn and turned into a diamond painting by Diamond Art Club. Um, I do have unboxings from other companies coming soon. I promise. Um, <laughs> I just think Diamond Art Club makes phenomenal stuff and their selection of artwork is superb. So check them out if you haven't already and uh, get this painting before it's gone because it probably won't last very long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I want to say a huge Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my special unicorns. You guys know who you are. Thank you for your support of the channel. And my special unicorn of the day is going to have to be Kristen A because it rhymes. A, A, A. She is my second ever member and um, I appreciate you and your friendship, Kristen. So thank you so much for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. That is all for me for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and staying cold. <laughs> like in the, in the winter, you say stay warm, right? So do you stay, stay cold, stay cool, stay cool. You guys stay cool, stay totally rad, <laughs> totally radical. <laughs> and on your way out, be sure to thumbs up this video if you like this canvas and do all the things. I'm going to give you one minute right now to just click the like button. It doesn't take any extra time or effort out of your day. Just like touch it it's, or click it. It's really not that hard. Just do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.